Hello there and welcome. My name's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee and today I'm making a very, very simple sew for myself, this is. Uh, I'm making a wrap around apron so I need it to come round the sides slightly and I'm going to put a big pocket just there and then it's going to have straps so it goes round the back. But I'm also going to put a strap round the front and this is so that I can hook like my spray cleaning stuff and everything over the band. Um, yeah, so I'm using UPVC, which is lovely stuff to sew-ish. You know, it works very well. Um, we don't need to worry about hemming because it doesn't fray or anything. But there are a few tricks to it. Okay. So I know the drawing's not very good, um, put it up a bit close to the camera, uh, it's still not very good, but very, very simple make. So the first thing we need to do is we need to choose our cloth. I've also got some paper strips here, this is a greaseproof paper, and I've cut about three in sort of foot length so that they're a sort of manageable size, and I've got some binding as well, which is like thick ribbon. So, measurements. We need to know uh, how far we want it round. So, not necessarily our hip measurement, but, you know, like half our body and a bit more. So, and I'll leave that up to you, because some people would just like it at the front. But it's just because um, I carry like a little spray with me when I'm cleaning. And that's why it's more of a tool kit than it is an apron. So, cutting this UPVC... You know, you can cut away like normal scissors, but you can kind of slide your scissors. Although, I would be careful because if you start off at an angle, you carry on at that angle and it can be, you know, you've wasted your fabric. Um, I've got mine cut out and I'm all ready to go. So what I have is I have a strip that's the length I want of the apron. And then another strip of the same size, and that's what I want of the pocket. But I'm going to fold over and do a hem. Now this hem is going to be the top of the pocket. So it's going to be quite um, a, used, a used stress of a hem. So, because some hems are just decoration, aren't they? And some hems are a bit more practical. Now... All I've done here is I've folded over the first couple of inches just so that I can get it started. I'm going to place my paper on top because it seems to grip quite well on the bottom but then it slides on the top. And the quality of your UPVC also makes a difference. Um, some of the more expensive ones are actually really sticky and they can be quite difficult to sew. So, and I've chosen greaseproof paper because I can see through it. So that's it really. I've got it, got it set up. Um, it naturally folds and stays folded. So I can always adjust it. And to take the paper off afterwards, it's quite rewarding. It's like tearing perforations, so it comes off really easy. Okay, so what I'm going to sew is I'm going to sew the top seam of the pocket. And I'm going to sew all but the bottom seam of the larger piece. And uh, let's start with that. Okay. Imagine I finished my pocket. I now have the side of my large piece. What I want to do is I want to hem it and I can do a double seam if I like. It's really up to me. It's not a hem that's going to be uh, very durable. It's more of a hem that is decorative. Yeah? And it's not going to fray because it's not going to fray. So, what I want to do is I want to take my straps and one of them is going round the top of the garment, so I'm going to place that in my seam. And 
and this is the hook to hang things off because what I really don't like is I really don't like a wet cloth in my pocket um, I'd much prefer to sort of hang it over the waistband than I would to hang it put it in a pocket I just I just really don't like it but that's personal but then the whole make is personal so all I'm doing now is I'm attaching the waistband now I always like to to concentrate on where a garment is going to fail and to be honest with you the only way this garment is ever going to fail this stuff isn't going to fail you know a hundred washes and it might look a bit tatty is the attachment to the straps so I've just sewn over once and I've just sewn over twice Okay, so when I come back, I will have my top hemmed, I will have my sides hemmed with my pockets attached, and I will have my two sides and my top attached here, but I'm going to attach the bottom to the bottom. Alright, I'll be right back with you. So welcome back. Okay, so I've got that bit of sewing done, and... Oh yeah, I'm happy and I'm just tidying up this piece of paper. Now if you do when you rip it, um, you get a little bit stuck in the seam, sometimes that happens. It's not too much of a worry, just take a pin and sort of tidy it up really. You know, it doesn't want to be there but sometimes it gets stuck. Okay, so my next job is to attach this pocket to this apron. And in a way, you know, it's so nearly finished. It's so nearly finished. So, got my sewing machine again. And I have my pocket. What I need in the end is, it's like that. But this seam can be tucked in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this round. So the pocket is now at the back. And I'm going to sew making sure that I've left my hem allowance and in fact if you're really happy you can mark that with a pin or you cannot. So I've got my hem allowance and I've got it the opposite side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew down this strip and then I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to top stitch. Now I'm a huge fan of only leaving one set of stitches. Um, I just think it makes it look so much tidier. So, I know, it's just probably a Fiona thing. But if we've only got one set of stitches showing, then I just think it looks so much tidier. So, all I'm doing now is I'm folding it over and... As I said before, it's quite a happy material. It's quite happy in the fact that it wants to behave. It wants to fold on that seam. So I've now folded it right over. I've got to make sure that I haven't got a twist in it or anything. And then I can fold over this seam. So that's neatly tucked out of the way, ready to be sewn up at the sides. And then I can just top stitch this bottom seam. Ooh, made myself jump then. What is wrong? There we go. So it's going through a few layers. So we're going to layer it so it's got a fighting chance. And there we go. And of course, depending on the temperature of the room as well, and depending on your sewing machine, because sometimes this stuff is quite difficult to sew, and don't get me wrong, then we reduce the paper. And because I'm going with um, contrasting coloured cotton, so that you can see it for the video, then we do have to be a lot more conscious of how tidy our stitches are. So, But it's one of those things I find that I can't concentrate on too many things. do is we can leave the needle down and we can just adjust that slightly and then we can sew up. 
so that we've got the first side of one of our pockets. Now, I have no idea what you need to take round with you. Uh, I could list off the cleaning supplies that I use and you'd be surprised what I like to have in my pocket. I, I actually like to have a butter knife, um, I know, just in case, I don't know what I expect to find, chewing gum or something, <laughs> not in my own home obviously, but you know, i say if I was um, wearing this just before Christmas or just after decorations were up, then um, I might take a spare bulb in the pocket, but it's really up to you how big you make your pockets. So say if you know that you like to take a Pacific brush or something, then you could make the pocket that size. If you were going for sort of random, then that's great as well. Or if you were going for asymmetrical, then I would recommend that you measure it first and you get all of them the same. So, but I'm just, yeah. I never have the same things twice. But this way I have a pocket for my duster and I have a pocket for this and maybe a couple of rubbish bags. So I'm not cutting the thread in between, that it's kind of a bad habit. Um, the fabric is strong enough so that it's not going to distort because the fabric's being pulled. Um, yeah, that really depends on the fabric. So if you're making it out of a lightweight fabric, then um, we probably should cut the thread because it would just pull it out of shape. Okay, I need to do the side of this, this still hasn't been done. So I'm just gonna line it up, make sure it's as smooth as possible, and then I can run some stitches over. Now this strap at the front, I do want to put a couple of lines of, oh, wobbling the camera, I've got one of my threads caught up in the leg. Um, I do want to put a couple of stitches in there just to break it up. So, and there again, you've got the, what are you going to need? If there's something personal that you like to carry in your pocket, in your toolkit, then, you know, you can measure that first. Okay. So that's just my side hem done now. And that was the thickest piece of fabric because I've got the hems of both the front and the back. All right, well, all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to divide up the front strap, and this really is an optional extra, it really is, so. And there we go, a couple of stitches, just personal. I suppose if we overwork this cloth, then we might have a problem that we could literally perforate it so much that it would fall apart. And then again, equal distance, and you can measure that, or you can just do it random, because some things are not the same size. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to make sure that it's level all the way around. It would just look a bit silly if um, it's baggy on one side. Okay, well my next job is, which I'm not going to clue you in, is to cut off all these loose threads, but there we are. We have an apron stroke tool kit sewn out of oil skins, UPVC, depending where you're from, and um, all ready for Christmas decorating, spring cleaning, or even you could use it in the garden. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I'm using it for Christmas because I was spring clean before I put the decorations up. But yeah, you know, <laughs> it's just one of those habits I get in. I get very excited. Yes, I'm like a small child. All right, thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and keep on sewing. Thanks ever so much. For